Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Killstar haul. So if you love Killstar hauls and want to hear some reviews about these pieces in detail then I hope you'll subscribe and I really hope you enjoy today's video and I will get straight into it. So I've got five things to show you today. I've got a skirt, some sunglasses, a top, a dress, and a belt so quite the range bought this stuff at the beginning of april and i'm filming this now at the end of may i did go a bit crazy clothes wise in march and april which is why it's taken me this long to film it because i have done a bunch of other hauls as you might have seen on my channel so that's why there have been so many clothing hauls like one a week at the moment but yeah so that's that's why but i'm really excited to show you this stuff um i've got quite a lot to say about it so i'll try and keep it brief but my kill styles do tend to sometimes go on for a little bit but overall i'm keeping all of the pieces which has been a first in a really long time um i always end up sending half of it back and then keeping some of it this time i kept everything i really really like it but there are definitely some things off with a few of the pieces <laughs> i'll start with the whole reason that i actually placed the order so Killstar released this dress <laughs> it's it's coming up very like orangey red on camera like blood red but it is more of a pinky red in person um, but it's still very metallic-y and really really pretty this dress came out like it was new when I bought it but they've released so many new things now that it's definitely not new but it is one of the newer items um, and it's basically a square necked dress it's just a skater style but the reason i bought it was this gorgeous print again it is it's not coming up accurately on camera it's definitely more of a cherry red but i'll put a photo of when i wore it like on here for you so you can see the colors a little bit better but it's basically got this really ornate damask looking print and it's got like skulls in it and different symbols it's really really pretty and it is on a mesh so this bit's actually mesh and then the velvet print is on top but as you can see when it catches the light it goes metallic it's such a gorgeous velvet that they've used and then it's got a kind of lace trim around the neckline there and the neckline is definitely more of a sweetheart neckline it does dip in in the middle and then it does have this not very good looking velvet ribbon as well <laughs> um it does have a seam line under the bust and as you can see the bust has this kind of like more loose effect to make it look flattering the sleeves on this are gorgeous they cut off there around the wrist and have lace and then there's this lace panel as well um, and that's mainly all of the details there is a lining underneath but it's just a very pretty dress and the reason i wanted this was because i don't know if you can hear that but it's all these birds <laughs> um but the reason i wanted this dress was because i knew i was seeing phantom of the opera and i wanted a really nice gothic red dress that was suitable for like colder weather because at the time it was still quite cold so i wore this with my leather jacket and my mask necklace i'll put a photo again of like the mask necklace with this but it looked really nice i did actually have some compliments in the theater when i was wearing this dress someone did say i looked japanese though and that wasn't what i was going for <laughs> but i did have some other nice comments saying how much they love this dress so it's definitely like a statement piece it's a really pretty dress however i do have some complaints about it um i will also have a try on of each piece after i have talked about it i think i've got three complaints <laughs> with this dress overall i love it and i'm glad i kept it because i think it's gorgeous it's really unique and not like anything else i really have however the first complaint is the sizing is off so i actually saw reviews of this dress in the killstar addicts anonymous group i always have that linked in my description box on all my videos so if you scroll down a bit it should say groups and then there will be a link for that if you would like to join but someone reviewed this and i don't remember the size they got they basically had to size down once or twice um and i think they went for a small but their sizing was bigger than me um 
so I thought well then I wouldn't be as small because like our sizes didn't match up so I did comment on this woman's review and we ended up talking and she said that she would recommend the extra small for me so that's what I went ahead and purchased and I'm so glad that there was that review on there because I wanted this dress specifically for that occasion and if I went with my usual size which was a size small it would have been way too big and I wouldn't have been able to wear it so it was just luckily enough I found a review on the kill star group that said to size down but if i hadn't have seen that i would have been very disappointed that's the first thing it, this dress comes up very big and even though it's an extra small it's still big on me just for reference i am a size uk 8 to 10 and my normal size in kill star is a small i usually get everything in a small and it fits me quite well this yeah it came up huge and the bust is still like it's very stretchy so if you were a bit bigger in the chest it would still fit you um but the rest of the dress fits really well apart from the shoulders so the sleeves themselves are really comfortable they're not tight or anything and they're not too loose however the shoulders just don't stay up like the amount of times i had to like keep pulling them up throughout the day and i think the elastic in them just isn't tight enough because they do have elastic in them like a little bit of give to them but it's like they've not been made tight enough because they just always fall down um, and I would say that's kind of in with the sizing issue it does also say like they have new tags and it says we are the masters of our own fate so I like that they put new sayings in them and the tags of this were really pretty they were like black with these blood red bats on them so I like the tags and everything it's just a bit bigger than the normal size like I, I would say this fits bigger than the kill star small usually does so that's something to bear in mind if you are after this dress however the thing that drives me crazy <laughs> i mean crazy is the amount that this dress sheds so i actually took some photos because it was that bad and i'll put some photos here of what it did to my leather jacket so my jacket has this kind of cottony inside and i wore the jacket over the top of this when i went to london and at the end of the day the jacket was coated in red and it's not even like a little bit but what's weird is it almost looks like dust like it's so fine but because i had been putting my jacket on an awful day it just completely shedded all on it and i did hear again from people in that killstar group to put it in the wash so i wash this hoping that it wouldn't have that issue but even when i was holding it up i could see all the red in the air and the thing is it just gets on everything it's not easy to see but then you start noticing everything being all like red and glittery in the light and it's just it's awful <laughs> and when i say it like it doesn't just shed on what it touches i tried it on in my room and the red dust stuff was like on my windowsill stuck to my mirror on all my clothes that i had just taken off to put it on like my leggings were coated in red like everything had this like red glittery shininess to it from this dust and i think that does show some of the quality degrading because i've got and i don't even know if that's what this is because it's it looks almost like a burnout velvet with the mesh but it's almost like the velvet has been attached to the mesh instead of the velvet being on there and then it being laser cut out because i have a lot of burnout velvet pieces from killstar that are probably like four or five years old and they've never had that issue like ever um, and they are black but i feel like i would still notice it um but this just sheds like crazy like even on the mesh parts where there is no red you can kind of see what i mean hopefully maybe not but like do you see all that sparkliness on the black like it just gets on everything and especially on this velvet tie like this is what it does like it just has this over everything and it just doesn't look good at all and i've even tried rollering this and it's just like in there <laughs> it's not coming out um i have also washed this dress and that's not very good oh, you couldn't see it like that doesn't look good i don't think that was actually like that at the time but that hasn't been finished off that's actually very shocking i've just noticed that like usually you burn the edges of this but that has not been finished off well at all like that is fraying and the other one is exactly the same like look at that like that's awful like that has not been finished off at all 
and before you think that I have just thrown it in the wash I actually double bagged it <laughs> so you know those like wash bags that you can get to protect your things I put it in two of them so I put it in one and then put that one in another one because it's so fine and I actually didn't want all the red stuff getting on my other clothes in the wash so that's another reason why I did that so I was really careful with this dress um and the velvet ribbon has frayed and even on the sleeves you can see loose threads like here like that's not very good again i don't remember if that was like that before but there are quite a lot of loose threads as you can see which is not good i don't know if there's any on the other sleeve the other sleeve looks better but there are still a few like it's just it's not great you can already see the red dust like all over my top and my skirt so that's great like even after washing it it's i can sit on my bed it's just it's it just gets over everything and it's so annoying and it's something that you can't just ignore because it gets on everything my handbag at the end of the day was coated in it the same amount as my bag like it just got on everything so that has huge quality issues actually because i've just seen the velvet tie on it fray as well i hadn't noticed that before so i definitely say the quality of that has definitely gone downhill and this is a 72 pound dress originally i didn't pay that for it i ended up paying 51 pounds um and it's called the citri long sleeve dress so overall the aesthetic of it is nice however the sizing is way off and the quality of this one is not good i I wouldn't expect a dress to shed even after washing it. There's a lot of loose threads and the velvet has frayed after one wash. So not the best. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to turn ranty, but here we are. <laughs> that was that one. So I, I, I don't know if I would recommend that. I don't think I would. Having all those issues after one wash is like, how long is that really going to hold up? So it's, it is disappointing and... Also, it really puts me off wearing it with my jacket because I went through a whole roller, like one of those sh roller sheets. Like I went through a whole one trying to get it off my jacket and it was such a pain. I had to roll in my bag, like everything I took with me on that thing, I had to roller and it was just such a pain. So... that wasn't the best start <laughs> um but the rest of the things i really really like so i'll go on to my favorite thing from this haul and i've actually worn it so many times i actually forgot it was in this haul because i've just worn it and worn it and worn it and i didn't realize it was one of my newer things but it's this belt and this is called the irene belt and i got it in a size extra small to a small i will have a try on of this as well but i basically bought the harness probably my last kill star haul maybe the one before and it's very similar to this where it kind of has the two straps that wrap around your waist and then it goes over your shoulders <laughs> over your shoulders with the two o-rings about here now i love the look of it but i'm honestly considering selling it because the shoulders is just way too big like i keep having to put it down and i haven't worn it because it's just a bit too big like i wish it was more adjustable so i'm kind of considering selling that because i have this one and i can't stop wearing this it fits me so much better so i would say comparing those two this one fits a lot smaller but it fits me a lot better yeah it's called the irene belt and it's basically this grungy belt actually i'll do it up like i can't stop wearing it i've worn it with like all all my outfits like whenever i've gone to wear a belt i've always grabbed this one and it seems to match a lot more things than i thought i thought because of the i'm still trying to do this up i thought because of the heart buckles it would only match more like lolita cutesy kind of outfits 
but it actually is just so much nicer and I've got so much more wear out of it than I even thought I would. So starting at the front, there are two buckles there. As you can see, lots of adjustable options. The only thing is if you adjust it like quite tight, like that, this bit does end up covering one of the heart buckles. So that's something to be aware of. Um, but you've got these two buckles at the front and then at each side you've got these two heart rings and they're like o-rings but in the shape of hearts and they just look like this so as you can see the leather comes off at either side of the heart like that and because it's like pulling they do stay upright sometimes they might fall a bit like this but the majority of the time they do stay in place and then there are these leather pieces to kind of keep these together and you've got three of those so one at the back and then one at either side and yeah then you've got kind of two hearts at either side of your waist it's just such a lovely belt i'll put some examples of when i've worn it with different outfits but it's such a lovely belt to pull in the waist add a bit of grunginess to an outfit and also you're not creating that block of black because i've got some belts that are black and like kind of chunkier and they just don't always look right because you've got this strip of black in the middle and sometimes that looks really nice but I find with some dresses it looks odd and that's why I love this because if you've got something quite patterned you can still see it through the belt so this has just become one of my favourite belts definitely my go-to and as I said I've just worn it so much more than I thought I would. It is a fake leather and the fake leather seems nice. It's kind of the same as that other harness like it's thin it's not like super thick but it does kind of keep you in place and it's not too flimsy like if i hold it up like this it keeps its shape so i'd say it's a really nice quality and i got it in the end for 16 pounds 19 i believe they had a discount like 20 or 25 percent off and then i also had like a voucher probably something i usually have vouchers <laughs> also i didn't say at the beginning but i do have a five pound off code this is a link but if you tap the link it should give you a code to then apply to your basket so i will leave the link in the description box for you at the top if you do use my link i do get 20 pound gift card which really helps me out this helps me take some money off at the end um so thank you if you have used that link and thank you if you do it does Help me save some money but yeah really impressed with this i'd say the sizing is accurate it does say extra small too small i think if you were a medium though you might have to get the size up i think this is really for just a small or an extra small but yeah overall really impressed quality is nice heart rings seem nice they feel a little bit cold and they feel really sturdy the buckles seem nice just really impressed with this and now i can put it back on <laughs> accessories i've got some sunglasses and then i've got some clothes at the end as well so these are called the mystic sight sunglasses and i got these in the end for 16 pounds 18 i have been kind of in the mood for collecting sunglasses in the past i've only had one or two pairs but at the moment i think i'm up to five or maybe six with these but i have a really nice pair from disturbia actually they don't make them anymore but i love those ones but i love these types of ones that are like super round and super goth looking so these as i said they're called the mystic sight sunglasses and i actually saw heavy metal mama wear these when she went on holiday and i saw she tagged killstar so i went and had a look and i don't know how i missed these these are definitely my type of style they are very witchy they also have the red dust stuff on from the dress <laughs> um but they're just basically some black sunglasses they have like black legs or whatever you would call this they say kill star at the side and then you can see through them but they've got like a purple tint to them almost like a plum purple which looks really nice and then they've got all of these details which are black florals and moons which kind of give them a witchy vibe but they're just really pretty i don't know if you can see that dust on them you kind of can actually do you see all that like sparkly stuff Oh, it drives me crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I have tried these on. They look really cool. I will 
maybe do a try on of these just put them on quickly because they i find with these because they have these kind of nose gripper things it's like i'm putting them on you <laughs> but they do have these which like sit on your nose i find these to be the best thing to stay on my nose i've had the raise up sunglasses from killstar and they constantly slide down because the nose piece is too wide so i much prefer these types of sunglasses because they stay on my nose the best however they do literally take off your foundation where they sit and it's very obvious so i won't be trying these on now but i will try them on on the try on i think as i said i've had another pair of killstar sunglasses and the quality's been nice i'd say these are better because they feel more like metal whereas the other ones were like solid chunky plastic so i'm really excited to now wear these i just think they're really really cool they also come with their own cases well which i appreciate because it's such a pain when you get sunglasses and then you've got like nowhere to store them i've got two items left so i'll go for the skirt next so this is called the vile lace skirt and i got this in a size small and i paid 33 pounds 77 for this I saw this skirt when it released but I thought it looked quite basic and I already had the Caspia lace skirt which I actually bought in my size, sold because it was too small, then bought it off a friend and now I'm selling it again. <laughs> <laughs> i have a love-hate relationship with that skirt i love the pattern of it i like the style but it just hits a bit low on me and for some reason it doesn't always look the best and it's still quite a tight skirt and i just didn't really wear it so when i saw this i was like okay i'll sell the caspia lace skirt and get this one and this one has such a lovely puffy shape to it i'm so glad I got this one and it is quite simple so it's not anything too crazy but it does have a zip down the side and then it's got this kind of thickish waistband and as you can see it's basically a kind of slip layer with this velvety lace design all over it so the lace is on top but it is like a chunky velvety lace which I don't have anything in and I just think it's really, really pretty. It's all these like florally patterns. And then you do have the slip dress underneath, which actually doesn't look see-through, which is impressive. It's just such a better length for me and it just puffs out a bit more. The other one was more like an A-line skirt. Like it kind of just went down and was like a little bit flowy at the end. Whereas this one is definitely more of a cute puffy skater skirt. So I just much preferred the style of this one. And as you can see, it just is not the longest. The quality seems nice. It's like a velvety. So I'd say this is probably going to be like a all seasons but summer <laughs> skirt. So I should probably wear it quite quickly. So yeah, quality wise, it seems nice. I mean, there's nothing that can really go wrong. I guess there's one loose thread at the end, but I don't see any more. The velvet seems really soft. The style's nice. The sizing is accurate. I'd say it's a tiny bit on the tighter side. So if you are between sizes, I would say size up. However, I got this in my usual size of a size small and it does fit me very well. I'd just say I'd struggle to layer it over like thicker tops. Yeah, there's not too much to say about this one really, but it's really pretty. Good kind of basic lace skirt, I would say. The only thing I would say that I was disappointed in with this is I know they put the price up. I think this originally cost something like 45 pounds or 50 pounds for this which it was never that and i have noticed that with killstar recently is they have been like doubling their pricing and then reducing it in the sale which i'm pretty sure is illegal they've done that with the suitcase like the suitcase used to be like 70 pounds i think it's now nearly 150 or 140 but they've definitely raised their prices and i did say in my previous killstar video actually because i said like my thoughts about it at the end how they didn't even put out a statement saying that they were doing that i just think it's really really sneaky um but i don't like the amount that they've put the prices up by i could understand a few pounds or maybe like 10 pounds for the bigger things but they're literally like doubling them or putting like 
30 to 40 pound items up at 50 or 60 so they're not small price increases um so i have been really disappointed in them for that and it has kind of put me off them a bit i still obviously like killstar my whole outfit today is killstar but i can definitely start to see the decline in some of the quality and the pricing is ridiculous now so that is a shame i'm gonna have to title this killstar rant <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i do think it's expensive for what it is but i did get it for 33 in the end I feel like 40 or 35 should have been the starting price with this really so that would be my only criticism of this And the last item is called the Brutal Halter Neck Top. And I got this in a size small and I paid £35.18. Again, I feel like this is one of those ones that has increased in price. Um, because all of these prices that I'm reading out were with the discount and a voucher taken off. Now, this one, again, covered in red fluff, is an older one, I believe. And again, just plug in the Facebook group. But... I saw someone wear this in the Facebook group and I was like, that is such a lovely top. Where is that from? And I, again, it was one I'd completely missed and it's basically an off the shoulder top with all of these details. It's kind of similar <laughs> to what I'm wearing now with these like rivets, but it's in a different style and I loved the lace up detail at the front. So it's a black cropped top i would say it's not a super short crop top but i'd say it is slightly on the cropped side it's made of a really nice thick material but the material feels like quality um and i'd it could be a bit too hot for the summer to be honest probably more of a spring piece but it is 95 percent cotton so that's why it feels a bit thicker and a bit of a nicer quality but it's got this kind of lacing at the front and the laces are made of the material, which means it's really, really stretchy. Um, and then it's got these strips of material that have all of these eyelets in kind of a silvery metal colour with the D-rings that say Killstar there. And those sit at either side. So I like the detail on this. I kind of wish this was adjustable because I feel like it sits a little bit more open than I would like. However, I do like that you don't have that string, like when you tie a knot and it just falls down and covers the detail. I like that it doesn't have that. Like I feel like it looks really, really neat. However, I do wish you could adjust it just a little bit, but it's not too much of an issue. And I really like the other details, as you can see, I obviously like these details. And then it's got kind of cute off the shoulder sleeves that are stretchy. And these do have quite a lot of stretch because it does have elastane in it. So it is quite a stretchy top. Straight across on the back, and that's it basically but what i thought and i thought was very misleading is i thought it had normal straps so they start here go across and then join it up at the back however it's actually a halter neck top now i know it says halter top <laughs> which probably should have given it away i wish it just went straight across i was trying to see if i could get the material to somehow like i could stitch it at the back or get someone to stitch it <laughs> but it's just the one of the straps isn't long enough so it's just it's just a shame because i really like the detail when it's an off the shoulder top and then the straps just go straight but i don't like it as much that it's a halter neck and also that means it's harder to wear a choker with halter necks i know that's like really picky but i love wearing chokers unless it's like a super high neck top so when it's a halter neck and then I have to put a choker there, it just gets a bit too much at the back of the neck. So halter necks for tops like this, is just not my favourite. Yeah, that's the only thing and I had to spend ages trying to figure out how to do this up. Because it wasn't just a tie, it's got one of these funny ring things. And it does stay to be honest, like it's not going anywhere. It did take me a while to figure out what this was. But I did manage to tie it up in the end. That would be my only criticism. I kind of wish this bit was adjustable. And I wish this was just normal straps. But quality of this one does seem very nice. The sizing of this is good. I got a small. It fits me perfectly. Um, yeah, it's just those things I mentioned. And I know 
as I said, like it has halter in the name, but I thought it would be like halter neck. Or maybe they just call it halter top. I thought it was like a halter neck. I thought that was the style. I don't really know. But also on the website, because I actually went back to check, I was like, is this even right? There's no photo of the back of this top, which is probably what threw me off because I just assumed it would go like normal straps. So I think it was a bit misleading in the photos. But I do like this one. I'm mix in this haul as i said i overall i really like everything however that dress has a lot a lot of issues um mainly with the shedding of it it probably wouldn't bother a lot of people but because i can just see it i'm just like oh my gosh it's just on everything so i've literally put it back in a bag and put it over there i don't want any more red stuff on anything but you'll have to let me know what you thought about these pieces let me know if you got that dress is it doing the same i hope you enjoyed this video anyway do like and subscribe if you did i hope you found it helpful if you were looking for reviews of these pieces i always try and go into as much detail as possible um to try and help you make a decision if it's something you would really like and if it is good like size wise quality wise and all of that so yeah i do hope this was helpful do like it if it was helpful and i will see you in my next one hopefully bye